Hello everybody, welcome back to Mateo's Corner. Can you believe it's been literally like more than a year since I started this channel? Like really, it's been more than a year. June, I think. June or July was when this all started and um, it's been a really rough ride, but it's been worth it. I've had multiple computers, multiple webcams to record stuff. Plans haven't gone through, plans that I never thought would actually happen have happened. It's been a great first year. And to make it a big event, I wanted to make a video that was more geared toward you, the viewers, than it was for me. And uh, the way I did that was I had a poll on Twitter. And I asked, what would you all want me to do? Do you want me to do a review? Do you want me to do a, a gameplay video? A blog post? And all of you decided that you wanted me to review... <laughs> Makes me laugh just thinking about it. Like 60% of the votes wanted Godzilla for the PS4. I still can't get over that. I, I honestly cannot. And the reason why it was kind of a shock was, again, it was just kind of thrown in there. A year ago, when this all started, this was supposed to be my first review ever for the channel. And after data got corrupted, there was tons of rage involved, and I just got rid of the game. But I said, you know what? I'll try it one more time, just to see, just to see what would happen. And you guys wanted it, so I rebought the game. I tried to get footage and everything, and it just said, nope! <laughs> it's just like, we don't want you to make a review! Screw your viewers! Screw your channel! But I'm here right now. I am here to make a review possible. Even if there's no script, even though there's no footage and just everything, I'm here doing a blog of all things, talking about this game. Because I know you all wanted it, and it's going to happen. Whether hell or high water, and this is the high water part. We've gone through the hell. So here we go. My thoughts on Godzilla for the PS4. I'm going to be honest. I did not expect this game to even exist. It had been about 10 or so years since Atari made a Godzilla game. And the last one, I think, was... Um, Godzilla Unleashed? I want to say it was Godzilla Unleashed. I'm not so sure, though. Don't quote me on that. That might be the last one for the PS2 and the Wii. And I know this doesn't sound big for a lot of people, but back in the PS2 era and the GameCube and the Xbox, even the Wii, Godzilla games were freaking awesome. They were kaiju, kind of like War of the Monsters. They were kaiju beat-em-up games. You just Beat the snot out of each other as your favorite kaiju. Godzilla. Baragon. Megalon. A lot of names that rhyme. King Ghidorah. I mean, they were all in the Rodan. Mothra. I could go on. There were tons of them. Um, but yeah, Godzilla was kind of in a good place. And then all of a sudden, it just disappeared. Like the kaiju itself. It just kind of disappeared into obscurity for a while. And then all of a sudden, with legendary Godzilla's, or legendary, <laughs> Godzilla, legendary Godzilla movie by legendary, legendary pictures Godzilla, all of a sudden Godzilla came back. And then you saw Toho just made Shin Godzilla, or Godzilla Resurgence, there were Godzilla, 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 but no one thought they were going to make a game. Because, I mean, why would we think that? I mean, we hadn't had one for so long. Atari, I don't even think, makes games anymore. I mean, they might. I'm not quite sure if they make games anymore. So, yeah, out of the blue, I was at a GameStop. And I was just kind of chilling, you know, hanging out. And I heard some music. You know, the dun, 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 dun. And I was like, what the hell? And I thought, oh, maybe it's for the movie. And I look up, and it was... It was the game. And I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? There's a new game? And it said PS4. And I was just like, holy shit. <laughs> like, it was crazy. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe we were having a Godzilla game after so long. And 
it looked good. I mean, the graphics looked pretty good. They had the music. Legendary Godzilla was at the very end. I mean, look at the trailer. and It's like Rodan and Space Godzilla and all this freaking awesome shit happening. And yeah, it just looked amazing. I couldn't believe it. And I was, I was like, and again, this was like a month before the game came out. There was nothing about this game. There was no publicity for it, at least where I was. So this was like, holy shit. Where did this even come from? It, but the weird thing was, was that it, it wasn't, other than all the stuff that, like, there was no um, advertising or whatever, it wasn't being made by Atari. It was being made by Bondi Namco. Yeah. The people that were making Klonoa and, and uh, Tales of Symphonia and... Pac-Man and Tekken and Soul Calibur, they were making a Godzilla game? Really? Like, that, that's what intrigued me the most, because I was like, oh, okay. New company? Maybe it'll be good. You know, this Godzilla game said, oh, we're gonna have authentic Godzilla action. And I was like, oh. So it's not just a fighting game? That, that's interesting. Okay. All right. Maybe I can get down with that. Maybe it'd be something new. Maybe it'd be something interesting. Alright, so before I talk about just what I dealt with with that game, let me explain, so we're all on the same level here, why I feel the way I feel. So the game, first of all, was $60. Alright, that, that's already a big, like, whoa. You know, that's a lot of money for a Godzilla game. I mean... If it was, like, Destroy All Monsters, where you're beating the heck out of each other, and it's a big game like that, I mean, 40 bucks. I mean, especially because we haven't had a new Godzilla game in, like, 10 or so years. $60 seems like a lot. I mean, I was kind of surprised, but I paid it. I paid it. Um, but then you get into the game, and there's a couple modes. So, like, first of all, there's this mode. I don't remember the exact name of it. I think it's called, like, Diorama Mode, where basically you get, like, these little figurines of characters that you unlock in the game, and you get scenery, and then you can place them all however you want, and take pictures, and it's it's just a fun little side thing. It's not really that great. Then we have, uh, like, this encyclopedia. It's like the Kaiju Guide. That's what it's called. The Kaiju Guide. And it's basically, like, a Wikipedia of Godzilla monsters. Godzilla... Mother Godzilla stuff. But it's not that great, because it's like, we have the internet. You could just look up the, all this stuff on the internet. I mean, but I mean, if you don't... I mean, it's nice to have, but still, we have the internet. Plus, there are monsters in the Kaiju Guide that aren't even in the game. So that would maybe confuse some people, because they'll sit there going, Oh, Baragon! I want to go play as Baragon! Let's unlock him! And then he's not in the game. Right? Like, if you give it to a kid and the kid doesn't really know, they're going to think the character's in the game. I thought the characters were in the game. I had to look it up. I was like, wait, that character's not in the game? Why isn't the kaiju guy? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, then there's, like, a versus mode. Which is only online. I don't understand why there's, a, why there's no split screen at all in this game. You'd think... For a versus mode, they would have something split screen. Might have made some sense. I mean, would have been nice to have a friend come over and play some Godzilla. You know, now I got to tell him, hey, you got to go pay 500, 300 bucks for a PS4 and pay 60 bucks for a, for a copy of the game. Let's just... Oh, speaking of multiplayer, all right. Multiplayer sucks. All right, in this game. The multiplayer is terrible. One, characters are unbalanced, both in the game and the multiplayer. Two, people can gang up on one character or whatever and take them out first and then fight each other. I had a friend. I watched a friend play this game online, and he was not Mechagodzilla. Everyone else was a version of Mechagodzilla. They didn't like that. So they killed him first, then proceeded to beat each other up. The fuck? I mean, really? That's not cool. I mean, 
I know it happens a lot, but it's just like, really? There's no, like, bow Oh, and then, like, player level, like, how good person is in the game. You could fight someone that's super duper good at the game, and you're just like, oh, okay, how am, I, how, how am I supposed to learn how to play if uh, I keep getting my butt whooped because there's no balancing? There's no... Yeah, I mean, it's 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 horrible. Like, I mean, I know there's people that play this game and are really good, and I applaud you. If you play this game and you're really good, I applaud you. Like, really, this game's hard to figure out. Um, especially in online. But yeah, it's weird that they didn't have a balancing thing. They didn't have, like, power-ups or something. Like, because they should have expected stuff like that to happen. But again, I don't really play multiplayer, so that's just my thing. If you guys have had okay time with multiplayer for people who play this game, let me know. Let me know how good the multiplayer might be, because I just tried it a couple times, and I saw my friend have that happen to him, and I just said, no, screw multiplayer. Uh, the other mode is basically, it's basically a character customization upgrader thing. That's it. You'd think you could make your own kaiju or something like that, and hey, Bandai Namco, if you're going to make another Godzilla game, add that in. Add a thing where you can customize the kaiju... Or your own kaiju. That'd be freaking awesome. Okay, just just saying. But yeah, basically the normal uh, the way is just you just level up kaiju. That's just the other thing in the mode. You just you get points, and then you level up your character. And it's just oh, speaking of points. Oh god. Okay, speaking of points. The only way you know what? No, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna save that. For when I talk about the actual game. But just know that the character upgrade thing is going to come in later. Uh, the only other mode is uh, God of Destruction mode. And... Yeah, now we're going to get into the actual game. Alright. God of Destruction mode is basically you play as Godzilla. Or you play as... If you do two of the other modes... You play as either another kaiju or you play as an earth defender. Um, playing as another kaiju is exactly the same as playing as Godzilla. I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, but you get to fight Burning Godzilla at the end as a final boss, which is kind of cool. I think you fight Burning Godzilla. I'm not quite sure. But anyway. Um, and then you have the defender of the earth thing. And if you don't know what that looks like, you can watch my, um, my playthrough on that. But yeah, basically, you just play as Godzilla in the main story, and you run around, and at first I thought it was kind of cool, because like the tutorial was literally like a black and white homage to the very first Godzilla movie, and then you cut to like this one, and there's like these branching paths, like an easy, a more normal, or a hard, and depending on which route you take, things are either easier, or they're harder, or you fight different monsters, and I thought that was actually really cool. Like, hey, branching paths and different people. And that's unique. Okay. Uh, I don't mind Godzilla being slow because he's slow in the movies and everything. I just care that the game's playable. You know, so I was like, all right, whatever. This is where the game falls flat. The actual game. I'm holding back so much rage. I am so sorry. It's funny. I'm not as mad as I was when I first played this game, but I still have so much rage just thinking about it. Alright, so get this. The whole point of this game is to play as Godzilla. And he's hungry. So you run around, destroy generators, absorb the energy, fight a kaiju or two, and that's it. Well, one or two per level, but that's it. That's literally everything that's in this game. Rinse, repeat. There's no mini game. I mean, there's some stuff, but it's like, there's nothing. And then when you fight other kaiju, sometimes you're fighting a kaiju that's super cheap. Again, the balancing in this game is weird. So get this. You have Destroya, for example. He's a long-range character. If you've got a character that isn't very fast or can't hit very far, you're screwed. And you got to start all over again. And, and it's just... Uh, uh, 
trying to think what else to talk about because it's like there's nothing else to really talk about. That that's the whole game. Rinse, repeat. Go get some stuff. Absorb the energy. Fight a kaiju or two. Done. Level's done. You move on to the next one. Rinse, repeat. Rinse, repeat. $60 game. I mean, the only thing I can think of that's kind of like the other Godzilla games I was talking about earlier by Atari is um, King of the Kaiju mode, which is kind of like a boss rush of different kaiju that you fight. Uh, it's like randomly chosen. There's like Hedera, um, King Ghidorah, Mecha King Ghidorah, Mothra. Again, there's just people. But... The weird part is that you have... Okay, so get this. You have the character thing. Like, I talked, talk, told... I cannot speak. I am so mad I cannot speak straight. Character upgrading thing. Now I'm going to talk about this. So while you're playing the game, and you're getting all these kaiju beaten and everything, you sometimes get points. And they're specific for certain characters. Like, for example... You'll get, you'll fight Mecha Godzilla, and you'll get Mecha Godzilla parts or something. You get enough points of that, you can unlock that character to play as in any mode. However, you also need those points to upgrade your character or characters, plural, meaning all the characters. So now you got to decide, huh? Do I, up, do I unlock Destroya, which who I might not even fight again? Or do I upgrade my character that I know I need this upgrade? I mean, that's kind of a hard decision when you think about it, because, like, why don't you just unlock the character when you beat him in the game? Would have made things so much easier. Now you got to do, like, RPG level grinding. Like, all right, I got to go fight this guy. Oh, I didn't get any points. I got to go fight him again. And again, and again, and again. And then King of the Kaiju mode, like I mentioned, you get points, but the points are random. You might fight six monsters, but you might only get one thing of points. And it might not even be a monster you fought. It's all random. How are you supposed to, like, want to keep upgrading when you don't get any points? So you know that the moves that you get, that you spent your hard points on, they're not in a move list. If you unlock stuff for Godzilla, and you want to remember how to do it, get a piece of paper and a pencil and write it down. Because they don't tell you. What the hell? I mean, seriously, that's like rule number one. If you have a move, if you are able to buy moves, don't you think it's smart to put them in a move list so players can know, oh, that's how you do the thing where Godzilla gets on his tail and flies with his feet like this toward the opponent. Oh, that's how you do that Godzilla move. Oh, that's how you do that. That's how you do this. They don't tell you. So you gotta write it down. And, like, you're writing down fatality codes in Mortal Kombat. That's kind of lame. I mean, even Mortal Kombat X, the new one, had a list in the move list of how to do those moves. If you've already done them. Godzilla, they just forgot to put that in there. And I mean, I, again, you don't need it, but it, it would be nice to, like, if you bought a move, be like, oh, that's how you do it. You do that. Okay. And the controls. The controls. Oh, God, I haven't talked about the controls. The controls are the other freaking terrible part about this game. Like, the targeting? There isn't really a targeting. I mean, there kind of is, but usually when you go to attack something... If a military unit gets in the way, Godzilla will just go, Oh, a helicopter! You'll be attacking Mothra, and all of a sudden you'll go, Woo! Let's go up here! And there's no guard. There's also no guarding. So if you try to... If a monster's coming at you like this, and you're kind of like this, and you need to guard, have fun trying to do that. There's no guarding. There's no target lock. Um, again, Godzilla being slow is not the issue. But sometimes him being slow sucks because he'll be stuck in a corner and they'll just keep wailing on you till you're dead. And then you gotta start all over again. And it's just 
If you're stuck on a mission, you can't pass, you gotta start God, God of Destruction mode all over again. That sucks. There's just, oh god, there's just so much. It's terrible. Like, it's, the controls aren't bad, but you can clearly tell they didn't think a lot of these things through. And again, all these things go into the multiplayer and all the other modes. Oh, and talking about characters, what the hell is up with the character roster? Sure, you got Godzilla and Mothra as a moth, but then you got Mothra as a, as a larvae. I know it was in the movies, but do we really need a larvae of Mothra? No, we really don't. Mothra as a larvae shouldn't be in a game. You should just play as Mothra the normal moth. Not, well, you know what I mean, the final Mothra. Same as, um, there's another character that's like Mothra that also gets a larvae form. Why not just take him out? Take the larvae out and you can put in Baragon. You could put in Megalon, King Caesar, Titanosaurus. You could put in, uh, who knows who else you could put in? Godzilla Jr., for God's sakes. And then, like, Mecha Godzilla. There's Mecha Godzilla Original. Then there's one that's exactly like that Mecha Godzilla. It's just a little different. Just combine them into one character. Save a slot. What's wrong with that? I mean, I hate to say it, but there is good stuff. Like, I, I bought this game a second time, and I'm actually going to keep it. Like, there. I want to say it's a terrible game. I, after all I've said, I haven't had anything good so far, but there are good things in this game. Like, again, the graphics are pretty good. I like how there's the branching path thing. I like how there's a King of Kaiju mode and the God of Destruction mode. As mundane and repetitive as it is, it is decent. It's fun once in a while. Um, I like how you can actually upgrade the characters. You can tell Bandai Namco were trying. It's just, I don't know if it was worth, you know, $60. I think it'd be worth $30. Maybe, the no, tops, $30. Maybe even $20. Especially because this is actually a remake of a PS3 game. So it should have been like $20, $30 bucks to begin with. It shouldn't have been $60. There's probably stuff I, I, I forgot about while talking about this, but I've covered basically the majority of this game. Uh, and as you can tell, I am not happy with this game. Um, but I am going to keep it. Um, rating system-wise, I don't really do a rating system anymore, but I would say this is probably a guilty pleasure. It's not good. It's not... Well, it's mostly bad, but there's something about it that makes you want to keep it. And it makes you want to just kind of play it once in a while, you know, maybe pull it out for a laugh, maybe you're, maybe you're drunk and you want to play it, I don't know, uh, anyways, just calm down from the rage here, uh, let, thank you guys for, uh, waiting patiently for this review, I know it's taken me a long time to make it, um, like I said, the, the it got corrupted, and I have to do it like this as a blog post, and I would have loved to have done a normal review on it, but thank you all so much for staying patient, so, yeah. Godzilla for the PS4, everybody. What a piece of shit.